Hey there, everybody. It's G-Bub here. How y'all doing? We're back here working on our Christmas grand giving adventure. And we got nine of them in the bag. We're going to work on number ten now. As you see, I picked it up a little while ago. And only a little while ago because we've still got 17 hours. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to sneeze there. We've got 17 hours. We picked it up when it was about 24, so we've let about seven hours go by, but we're going to go ahead and knock it out here because uh, we had one going in the right direction. Finally, finally, we got one going in the right direction here. We got going to pick one up in Bakersfield, and we're going to drive all the way up here to Sacramento. We're going to drive most of the way, about a third of the way up California. So when we get up here, hopefully we can keep finding stuff going north, because Dad, come look at all these cities up here. Look at all those cities all right next to each other. Can you imagine getting up here and just doing delivery after delivery all up there? So that's where we're going to head. So let's get on out here and actually let's take a look. I think if I remember right from when I looked at it before, I think our pickup, we're sitting here at the Walmart and I think our pickup is right around the corner here at the Walmart maybe. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get on out here. It's going to be um, $16,814. Another 43,500 pounds. And yeah, we're going to get paid $16,000. $60 a mile. Man, I'm going to miss these holiday things, you know. But that's what we're going to take. So let's get on out there and get driving it. And see about going picking up our load, shall we? How y'all been doing? It's been a good one for me. I can't complain too much. I had a guy come and look at the house and see about going to repair the deck on the backyard because it's been a little bit beaten up by the weather over the years and got some boards that need replacing. And, and should be fun to get that done. Let's see here. Check our fuel. We got plenty of fuel for right now. It's not a big thing. We got about, oh, we're probably only about a third of the way through our sleeping. So that's good, too. In, in the meantime, we need to see where... There it is, right over yonder. You see it over yonder? That's where we're going to go pick it up. So let's get on ready. We're still cocked at an angle, ain't we? Yep, we're still cocked at the same angle we were parked at whenever they took that trailer away from us. So it's nice to see the continuity they got going on there. Let's go ahead and crank Calculating this up. Calculating route. Please proceed to highlighted route. <laughs> Make sure our parking brakes off. We're going to switch it on into second here. And we're going to move on down yonder way. Let's go ahead and take this off, too. I think I did see a thing a little while ago that they actually gave you a number, gave you a, a thing in the menus, and it told you how long it was before you had to sleep again. In our case, we've got like nine hours and something before we have to sleep again, so that'll be good. Now, let's see. Can we back this up? Let's take a look here. Got an R1, right? Can we back this sucker up without having to take the, uh, the camera down? Cause I like it better if we can do it without taking the camera down. It's just so easy to get things reset. Oh yeah, okay. bring it on over. Yep, bring it on back over this way. This whole thing with my head shaking and constantly getting the thing off. Just pretend there's a bee. You know, cause this is me hanging out the trailer door, trying to get this lined up right. Just pretend that there's a bee flying around and I'm swatting at it. There we go. Root. Just pretend there's a bee flying Please around. I'm proceed to highlighted route. And I'm swatting at it at the same time that I'm doing all this. All righty. Let's get out and take a look. Ooh, I'm glad we didn't have to park it there. That would have been a tough one. That would have been a true 90-pointer there. All right, let's take a look at our... Let's go out. Let's put it in neutral. Put the parking brake on. Let's go out and take a look at... Our actual world map. Let's take a look at our Ram McNally here. And let's take where we're going to go. We're going to pull out of here. We're going to take a left. 
and then get immediately take a right on uh, California 99 here. And we're just going to keep driving all the way on up. We're going to pass Fresno and tear on up that way. We're going to go past Oakdale and then we're going to go through Stockton and get up here to Sacramento. Where we got to go in Sacramento? We're going to take it to Sacramento's got three Walmarts. Look at there. Good googly boogly. Apparently, there's a lot of people who need plastic cheap from Walmart. I can tell you. <laughs> Got to watch my language in these things. <laughs> Mama Cogbinder wouldn't be happy with that, so I better watch that. If we go through Stockton. We might come down here and get that question mark. I think I looked at the map earlier, and I think that's the only place on this trip that we haven't hit yet on this particular trip. So that's what we'll do. Alrighty, folks, we got 17 hours, right at 17 hours left. So let's see if we can't get this thing going, alrighty? I'll wait till my air gets all set. While it's doing that, while the hissing's going away, let me get a drink of my coffee here. Ah, there we go. Finished off the last of my coffee. My map doing okay? My map's doing okay. Look, look on my clipboard. Looks like we're doing okay on the clipboard. We're good for fuel and everything else. Got my fuel economy down. Let's lock my head in place. There we go. Alrighty. Now let's start moving on out here. Get this adventure on the road. Hopefully it'll be a fun one. Without... Plenty of sights to see without anything being too adventurous, like we ain't gonna crash it or nothing. That would be nice. Not crashing it, not rolling it, not running out of gas anywhere, not, not killing, a, killing it with a misshift on a hill and having it roll backwards into a school bus and kill a hundred people. That wouldn't be nice, yeah. We don't want to make the news, we just want to be entertaining. We just don't want to be that entertaining, you know? So let's show you how this goes. The oh, other thing I want to do is I want to look down here. Where are we going? Is that the one I want? No, I want to go with cruise control, temperatures, fuel economy. I'm getting about 6.3 right now. We've been keeping track of it. You know, at the end of your, our little missions here, we've been keeping track of how much we've been getting. And we actually broke six on the last one. It's because of all that highway driving. And we should do pretty good on this one, too. Because this one, we got just about all highway up until we get up close to Sacramento turn up there. Left. Now, turn left. got a yield sign. I'm going to go ahead and pull out here so we can block off this lane coming to our left. You going to let us on by? We going to hit you? Nope, you going to let us on by. Bubba was talking to me. He let me know that that's a trick. This whole thing with turn on your blinkers and all that. He said that's a trick they do over there where he's from. I think he said they call it enforced Turn courtesy. Right. And that's what I've had to do the last couple times here, you know, when we've had these things. I've had to had to engage in enforced courtesy to get people to, uh, to slow down, let me out, even when they're just sitting there. That's why I don't feel too bad about using that trick, you know, because they should, especially the truckers. If nothing else, the truckers in the game ought to do that. They ought to, uh, you know, if they pull up and you're sitting there waiting to get out, they ought to stop. You don't expect it from the four-wheeler guys, you know, because they just don't understand. But the truckers, they would sit there and they would definitely help out a brother trucker because, uh-oh, road worker here. Because the truckers would definitely help out a brother trucker, you know, because they're going to be in that position one day. So they're going to want to... Uh, all right, everybody's going to be merging in on the left here. 
The only thing I'm worried about is I want to make sure we don't going to have nobody coming in. See, like this trucker here. I'll let this brother trucker come on in front of me if he can't. Nope. Ain't enough space. Sorry there, pal. I do apologize. I do apologize, but that's it. End of the road work. Oh. Y'all could have done better on that one, you know. How about these nice long ones that we used to get? And that nice long one we saw in that last one? Where it just kept on stretching. You had all those cars and pallets and all those people sitting there and digging and jackhammering and all. It looks like it's going to be a pretty sunset out here in California. We can't say Southern California. It looks like we got like a, a orange orchard over there. It looks like orange trees. Can't say Southern California no more, because we're heading up through Middle California now. We spent several days driving around in there in the San Diego and, and El Centro and all that area. So now we'll go driving up through the middle of the state and see what it all looks like. I think I'm going to go ahead. It's getting close enough, I'm going to turn my lights on. Just because I may miss it. If it gets dark enough, we really need them on. I may miss it when it happens, and the next thing you know, I'm passing a cop, and it's been two seconds since I should have had my lights on and he's given us a ticket. And I'd like to pull this out without any kind of tickets or anything. That would be nice. Ooh, looks like a freight yard or something over there. Yep, that's that's one of the train yards we have to. Yep, and we've even got it lit up in yellow there. We've made deliveries to that yard before. Oh, look at that sunset. It's gonna be a pretty one. Gonna be a pretty one, and hopefully a pretty night here. Fuel's looking good. We still got over half a tank. I know I called it fuel that time. I didn't mess up caught gas. I got gas, but not that kind. Looks like it's going to be a largely, unless we do have to take a nap, it looks like it's going to be another largely nighttime drive, though. I would have took a nap, but if it had been a lot closer, if we'd been like two-thirds of the way, I would have went ahead and took a nap so that we could drive it, you know, get the, get the night, make the nighttime go away, as some people have said. I'd make that nighttime go away. And, Oh, look at them clouds up there. And that's vanilla there. I'm not running anything like the, the... I'm not running any of the realistic weather mods or the sky mods or or the, the natural time cycle stuff. I'm not running any of them right now. So those are, those are good old-fashioned vanilla skies there. And they're that pretty. So just imagine whenever I get around, uh, whenever they get those... Uh, get those... Uh, natural sky mods and stuff those graphic mods updated to what was it 136 is that what we're on yeah we're on 136 just think about it when they get them upgraded to 136 and I am thinking of how pretty it's going to be because it came darn pretty to start with it's really nice can't complain about it at all there's just a little, few little things that I like to, you know, just boost up a little bit. It's like uh, the rain, you know, I run the rain mod in there just because it just makes everything, just makes the rain that much nicer, you know? Dude, I'm still dealing with the old world. The old world here got a few little funky things every now and then. When I see brake lights coming on, I never know that means that lane's going to disappear or what the heck's going to go on. So I'm taking a look to be sure that I don't want to have to suddenly slam on the brakes. Because I don't think I'd be able to do it in time. Next time I see y'all, this right here, it might. This is a longer delivery. It's longer than we've done the last couple. So this one here just might be one of those where it puts us over the top and into level eight. And if it does, I'll go take a look and we'll see if it's going to be enough. There's Walmart right over yonder. I tell you, Walmart is taking over the world. Look at it over there. Like I said, Stockton's got three. Hell, the town I live in here, God knows how many it's got. 
Whoa. I'm getting a lot of jerking around in this wheel. It had must have been there. See, that's a that's what you look for when you see a road work. It's these longer road works they got there now. Not those little ones. That was something you expect back in the old days. Back before they expanded the world and back before they put the random events in there, you expect those little things that were like five feet long and were three barrels and they called it roadworks and closed off the lane for it. All right, let's stomp down on the gas a little bit. See, we're getting 6.4 miles per the gallon right now. <coughs> Y'all excuse me just a second. Didn't mean to cough in your ear there. But yeah, we're definitely climbing a little bit of a hill. We're definitely going up a little bit in elevation here as we head further up north. Not much one, just enough that we got to put a little bit more gas to it. Give it just a little bit more oomph. But yeah, this delivery, I'm thinking it ought to put us up in level 8. And then we'll go take a look. We're going to do two things. We're going to see what kind of upgrades there are. And when the next ones are. Like, is the next engine all? Is it at level 9? Is it at level 10? Look, I'm trying to get it 55. You jokers quit pulling in front of me like that. Awful lot of traffic out here tonight. What time is it? It is almost 10 o'clock at night. So, once again, I'm using that realistic traffic mod, so we should see the traffic kind of die off a little bit as the nighttime comes. We got the people going out to the clubs right now, and then we'll have the people coming back from the clubs in a little while. And then after that, from about, oh, one or two o'clock until about six in the morning when when, uh, when uh, rush hours starts picking up again, it should be pretty quiet out here on these roads. Now, I'm going to take a quick peek. Let's go out right quick. I want to see where we are and if we got any rest stops coming up. Because then I'm going to take a look. Alrighty, you see right there, we have just passed by the last places that we filled in on the map. And we are filling in new territory here. So I think as soon as we got past this little pillar of fresh snow, we, that's the last time we were in places we knew. So let's see here. If we need to, oh, that's a long turn. But if we need to, we might have to hit Oakdale. We'll have to see. Let's take a look here. Stomp on the gas again, so we won't just be coming to a stop. There we go. And let me get down here and take a look. Pull this one up. Yep, I think we may need be needing to hit that one. I think we may need me hit the nap there. So, what I'm going to do, let's look over here at our Rand McNally. Pick up our map. And I'm going to put a thing at the rest stop here. Why does that make, make us go all the way up yonder? That is making us think we got to drive all the way up. You look there. Wanting us to go all the way, all the way up here to turn around and come back. No, we'll come here if we have to. There we go. Let's go there so that just in case it doesn't think we have to go all the way up there. That may be the only place we can turn around. That may be a divided thing, but I don't think so. It still says we got three hours and 18 minutes left. So this shouldn't be that big a thing. But we know we got to take it at the next, at the next big intersection like that. Calculating route. Please proceed to highlighted route. We are there. There. Now we got that off the screen. We ain't looking at the map anymore. Let's pay attention to our driving. So we ain't rocking around. 
because I can feel it rocking. It's jerking the steering wheel a bit. It ain't doing that jerking the steering wheel where it wants to flip us. It ain't that kind of pulling. This is just the rattling where I can feel it rocking a bit. I think we're going to keep it on 55. Keep them double nickels going. It just worries me every time I see those little brake lights flashing up there ahead of me. I like giving them a nice long, let them get way on up there. See, those lights keep flashing. Especially when I see more than one start flashing, it's like, okay, what the hell's going on up there? Ooh, what's those red things flashing? Up? Oh, those must be power lines going by. I thought it might be UFOs and didn't realize, no, we ain't New Mexico. Ain't no, ain't gonna get no alien abduction going on. We ain't gonna get probed here or nothing. Well, we might get probed, but if we do, it'll cost us twenty dollars, and it'll be at a be at a truck stop. But it ain't gonna be that kind of probing. Well, let's just tear on down through the street here. Yeah, it's awful dark. It's a long stretch without any little towns or cities or anything like that along it. Whoop! It's not getting going too fast here. Let's slow it on down a little bit. I want to reset my head too. It always gets just a little off when I'm doing all that jerking and jinking around because I never do seem to come back into the same position. As you all know, I sit here on my couch. I've got all this set in front of the couch and I'm sitting here in front of the TV. That's another reason I told you. Remember that big, cra that big almost crash we had where we had that that absolute BS unregulated intersection there? Yeah, y'all know the one I'm talking about. Because when we came across that, we're gonna have to. Keep right, then immediately exit. I was right. gonna say we're gonna have to make a right here. All righty. Because yeah, when we had that going on. Exit right. <laughs> Let's let the gravity slow us down. Turn right. There we go. And put it in a second. We definitely came to a stop. Ain't nothing coming that way, so we can pull on. Now, why is it I can't do that good every single time, huh? Why is it I have such trouble with that? I don't know. Now, we need to see if we can find this sleeping spot up here. We still got plenty of fuel, half a tank going. What was I talking about? I don't remember. I think we're gonna put in a stop right up here. I'm gonna save it, and we're gonna pull up and sleep, and then I'm gonna come back and look at that last little bit of video and figure out what the heck I was talking about. Cause I know I was talking about something before I got off on that rant. Why well, it ain't never a good thing to let me get off on ramps. Ooh, Nelly. Now, can you know I've been going crazy. Now, how far away is that sucker? I mean, this is the turn to Oakdale. I figured we would be seeing it on the map by now. Is it really that far up here? There we go, there's a gas station. I bet it's right there behind the station. You can tell if that's a farm over there or some kind of delivery center. Whatever it is, it's closed up for the night. Okay. Got my brights on? There's my brights. Turn the brights off again. Of course, there wouldn't be no darn traffic coming for miles and miles and miles. Until suddenly I gotta turn my brights on. There's the rest area right past it. Oakdale discovered. Alrighty, that's California Dreaming. That's number 9 of 22. So we just found the ninth one. You know what? We might just, we might just fill up with fuel after we're done too. 
we get up in the morning. I think we might just go and fill up with fuel. Alrighty. You wouldn't know that wouldn't be a darn car on the road until I went to turn my brights on. Just like that, you know, flip my brights on and then that's when they suddenly want to come out and play. Now this does say rest area, right? It does. All right, and yeah, we're almost at the point we need it there because we're about, oh, three-fourths, four-fifths of the way. So there we go. Let's turn the brights off. What time is it? It's almost midnight. So it's gonna be middle of the morning when we finish up here. Let's cut that off. Let's cut our lights off. Let's sit out here and listen to the crickets. Alrighty. I'm going to see y'all in the morning here, okay? I'm going to go out and put in a save right there, and I'll be right back with y'all.